Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about histoplasmosis. Histoplasmosis is a fungal disease caused by histoplasma capsulatum, a dimorphic fungus. The fungus grows as a mold in soil and as yeast in animal and human host. And in animal and human host, this fungus has a predilection to go to the reticuloendothelial system like that of the lung, liver, spleen, and bone marrow. It is transmitted through inhalation of spores, conida, from soil contaminated with bad guano or bird droppings. Guano means accumulation of the waste, bad waste. Not only bad, also the seabird waste per excreta, combination accumulation of all the excreta is called guano. Bird dropping, any bird dropping, it may be the chicken, the, par the person who deal with the chicken fertilizer may suffer from histoplasmosis. The disease is not transmissible from person to person. Epidemiology is distributed worldwide near the river valleys in the caves where birds and bats live or roost. People who work in this area like the excavator, explorer, person who like to explore the caves, travelers visiting to the, the caves are vulnerable. Okay, so if you look at that, the bird excreta, bears excreta, there is guano, or the farmer who deal with the chicken excreta fertilizer may have this disease. So this is that, the soil, and this is the conida going to the lung, going to the lung here, and here it is, it is phagocytos by the phagocytic cell and it is a facultative parasite it can multiply in the phagocytic cell and it will be disseminated in a person whose body defense is less like this these are the multiplication inside the phagocytic cell then it may be disseminated in an immunocompromised person okay so if you look at that in the histopathology here we'll get these are the conida okay intercellular yeast from histoplasma capsulatum okay so here is that lesion here inside the phagocytic cell we got that the histoplasmosis Incubation period is 3 to 17 days. 90% of infections are asymptomatic or mild influenza like. Some infection may lead to acute pulmonary histoplasmosis characterized by high temperature, anorexia, weakness, headache, dry cough, chill, fatigue, and chest pain. Most of the patient recovers spontaneously within two to three weeks. Dissemination, especially to the liver and spleen and central nervous system, can occur in an auto in an immunocompromised patient. Diagnosis: Culture of histoplasma capsulatum from bone marrow, blood, sputum, even the gastric content, because people swallow the sputum microscopy of the yeast in the tissue pcr on tissue specimen enzyme link immunoassay on urine serum plasma bronchoalveolar levis or csf antibody test for histoplasmosis okay treatment treatment usually not required for immunocompetent people with short or almost asymptomatic 
disease or localized pulmonary infection it may go normally it will be asymptomatic and person may recover without treatment people with more extensive disease for more than one month duration or in immunocompromised patient we need the antifungal drug itraconazole maybe cataconazole or the if the case is severe then the amphotericin b prevention how can we prevent it people with increased risk for severe histoplasmosis increases like older people people with diabetes people has organ transplant people are taking steroid or chemotherapeutic drug are more vulnerable or people whose physical condition is bad in a critical condition okay and they have very much they are prone to allergic reaction should avoid high risk areas like bad infested caves or river valleys with barred roost with a lot of droppings so they should avoid this part okay and that's all about the histoplasmosis if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now